Hi, it's me and I still have braces. I am in my glow up era, okay? <laughs> I know it's like the corniest thing in the entire world, but right now I am truly trying to focus on me, mind, body, soul, okay? I'm doing all the things. I'm currently back in therapy. I have my extensions out. I'm putting oil in my hair every day and slicking it down because I need my hair to grow in faster and thicker because I'm balding apparently. Today's the first time that I've worn lashes in a long time because I've been trying to grow up my lashes. I'm using lash serums every single day. I'm focused on my skincare. I'm just trying to better myself and improve myself as much as physically possible right now. I'm gonna have my comeback moment. I'm feeling like it's spring. I'm gonna show up with like 22 inch extensions, a fresh spray tan. I'm gonna be giving Jacqueline 2017, okay? But in the meantime, you're gonna get Jacqueline the balding rat and you're gonna like it. Okay, welcome to today's video, you guys. I have missed you. You know how I feel about you here on YouTube. This is my favorite place to be. This is my home. It's like coming home for the holidays, spending time with my friends. It's just such a judgment-free zone. I think I feel that way because of like all the Jacqueline's journey that I've done and just the fact that I've been here for 13 years now at this point, which is insane. Today, I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite videos of all time. This is my favorite video to film and to watch, which is my current beauty favorites. This is my life right now. <sighs> Gotta get cracked out while also remaining hydrated. Life is all about balance, okay? You guys, I have so many products to talk about today. I don't know where to start. It's gonna be a really long video. Okay, so grab your popcorn. Grab your popcorn, grab your cocktail, grab your mocktail, grab whatever the hell you need for the next 30 minutes of your life and let's jump into it. I'm gonna start off with skincare. I have been so obsessed with beauty products the last, I would say like four to six months. I have spent tens of thousands of dollars on new beauty products, testing out everything. I feel like there for a minute, I was so caught up in Jaclyn Cosmetics that all I was using was my lab samples for Jaclyn Cosmetics and future products for Jaclyn Cosmetics. So it's like the last couple of months, I'm like, oh my God, what have I missed in the game? So today I'm gonna to talk about like my die hard products that I love. We don't have any time today for things that are good. We're only talking about the greats. Okay, we're gonna start off strong and hot with this controversial snail mucin right here. The texture of it is quite disgusting. It's quite filthy, but you do get used to it. It looks like, it looks like you know what. Okay, we're all adults around here. We all know what the f this looks like, okay? But I have to say, I quickly have become addicted to the texture of it. At first, it disgusted me. But when I tell you the hydration that this gives my skin, okay, it claims to plump, help with fine lines, wrinkles, and hydration. So I stopped using this product for like a month, right? I stopped using both of them. My skin got so unbearably dry, just the way it always does. I went back to using all my other products as normal. My skin was so dry. I introduced this back into my skin routine last week. The next day, I went out in public and I had two people in the grocery store compliment my skin and I was like, it's the damn snail mucin. If you are someone who struggles with dehydrated skin or you just want your skin to glow more, this product, I can seriously say, changed my skin. I'm obsessed. I also love the way makeup sits on top of it. So I use that one morning and night in the winter. In the summer, I was using this in the morning and then this at night, amazing. As always, every single thing that I talk about in this video will be linked in my description box below this video. So if I'm talking too fast or I don't say the brand or the specific name or whatever it may be, every single item will be down below that I discuss in this video. Oh my God. You know you like that shit. Don't even lie. I got a ton of DMs when I talked about this saying that this is their holy grail number one skincare product and that this changed their skin. These two right here, if you are looking for moisture and hydration, you guys, you know how sensitive my skin is. I am not just sensitive. It's not just like, oh, I'm a little redness. Like I'm telling you last week, I slept in my friend's bed and I woke up and this is what I looked like. Hives, rashes, clogged pores. So when I find a product that doesn't break me out, that right there, I'm like, holy shit, like that's groundbreaking. But let alone a product that's actually changing my skin, I'm like, oh. So both of these products are supposed to help in combat redness, which I can say right here, raising my hand, is 100% true because I have rosacea. Ever since I stopped drinking, my rosacea has naturally gotten better. Thank God, no one told me that was gonna happen, but it did. Once I started using these two products together, I basically don't have redness anymore. This is an exfoliating product, but it's also super Super hydrating. It's supposed to unclog your pores, help with fine lines and wrinkles. It's supposed to plump the skin, smooth and even out skin tone, texture. Mitch, go read up on it for yourself. It's by Paula's Choice. It's a light exfoliator. I use it every single day. A lot of people ask me like how often I use things. You have to like use your best judgment for yourself and your own skin because what I do for me might not work for you. So if I'm over here using something every single day, you might only be able to use it two or three times a week. Those products have made my skin 
chef's kiss. <sighs> that energy drink is kicking in and I feel great. Last little skincare item is pumpkin seed oil. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of funny to tell you guys what I use this for, but I massage my boobs with this because I heard that pumpkin seed oil makes the tatas perkier and like stimulates collagen or some shit. The reason I'm talking about this is because the smell of it is so good and it's literally just organic, all natural pumpkin seed oil, like that's it. But it actually kind of works almost as a perfume, like an oil fragrance because it smells so good. I have been using this all winter long. I'm almost out of it. It's at the very, very bottom. I massage it all over, like my chest and my upper body, my neck, my shoulders, my arms. And then I use that as a base for any like warm base scent, any like vanilla scent, any spicy scent. And then your fragrance just latches onto that oil and it just smells so good and it's nourishing, it's natural and it's hydrating. I'm gonna do makeup. Let's start off with the base, okay? So I have discovered actually several foundations that I really love the last like six months since my last current beauty favorite video. I'm not gonna talk about all of them. I'm only gonna talk about like the standout ones that I'm like, damn, you are really good and I use them all the time now. First and foremost right here is the Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now this I thought was an actual foundation at first and I hated it, but I feel like a lot of people have that problem. That's what I was reading online is people are like, this sucks because they're trying to use it as a foundation. This is not a foundation. This is just meant to add an all over glow to your skin and it is so beautiful. So once I understood the assignment, I became obsessed. So I put this on underneath of my foundation or just mix it with your foundation. I do like a stripe on each cheek, a stripe on my forehead, a stripe on my chin. Then I'll go with my actual foundation and just blend it all together. And the way it just gives like, look at my hands compared. It just gives the most beautiful glow, but what I love about it that makes it different than like dew drops or highlighter drops is that it has a little bit of a grip and a tackiness to it. So whatever you're putting on with it, it doesn't just slide it around because I feel like that has very much been an issue with highlighter. And I remember when I developed the Champagne Pop Liquid Highlighter with Becca, it was already their standard formula and we just made the Champagne Pop shade. So my job was just to make sure that the shade was correct. But I remember telling them, I wish this was tackier because when I mix it in with my foundation, it kind of slips around. This would have been like, what, eight years ago or something? At the time, that was too innovative. That was like two in the future and that didn't really exist then. And now we are starting to get products like that that have that grip so you can have the dewiness without having the slippery oiliness and it's just Next up on the list, I literally have nothing negative to say about this product. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I'm actually shook, not to sound like a bougie asshole because I'm not, yes, I can be bougie, but I'm not an asshole. But I am shook that I'm in love with a Maybelline foundation like this. I don't think I've ever loved a Maybelline foundation. L'Oreal, yes, not Maybelline. Girl, this right here, first of all, I don't need to talk about how amazing it is that it's so inexpensive, but this formula, it has such a subtle glow. It's not sparkly, it's not shimmery, which a lot of times you'll find that with more drugstore and expensive products. No, Miss Maybelline got it right. It has been one of the only foundations I have used for the last two months. Like, I was obsessed with the Tom Ford Stick Foundation, obsessed, and it's $90. And I stopped using that for this. Okay, with that being said, I have officially found my favorite concealer to exist. I cannot believe that I'm saying this. So the last couple of months, I have had to basically find dupes for Jaclyn Cosmetics because I am closing my brand down. If you guys did not know that, every single time I talk about the fact that I'm closing Jaclyn Cosmetics, I always have people that are like, what? Because they haven't heard the news yet. So if this is your first time hearing it, I am closing Jaclyn Cosmetics down. I made a post on my Jaclyn Cosmetics page behind the reasoning why and all that. At the end of the day, I know there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of chatter on the internet about why it's actually shutting down. Genuinely, at the end of the day, I'm shutting down Jaclyn Cosmetics because of me. I had the option to carry on the brand on my own. I, it's just, it's right in my heart that I closed the brand down. Yes, I had partners the entire time, but it is my choice to shut down Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's what sits right in my heart. It's what I want. And it's just the next right move for me in my life. I just need a break. I really need a break, but I am very sad to see a lot of my products go. And one of them was my concealer. Like I love my concealer. The last couple of months, I have tried every single concealer under the sun from House Labs, Mario, Dior, the new Fenty concealer, NARS. I mean, I'm like kicking it old school, going back. I'm, I'm trying every concealer because I'm like, I gotta find one that I think is just as good as Jaclyn Cosmetics because those products are not gonna last me for the rest of my life, right? Hourglass concealer is the best concealer. The coverage, the blendability, the way it sits, it is so freaking beautiful. This is my number one favorite concealer ever. I can't imagine you not liking it. And also it makes a beautiful foundation. 
foundation. I know that sounds crazy, but I used it on my entire face last week. I loved the way it looks. It's very much giving full coverage, but it is gorgeous. So I am claiming this as the best concealer ever, in my opinion. I totally skipped over primers because I just was too excited to dive into foundation and concealer. So we're gonna rewind a little bit and jump into some primers. This right here is by Nimya, and this is the Wear it All Starts Cream. I feel like I do not hear enough people talk about Nimya and talk about specifically this cream. So this is Nikki Tutorial's brand. This is a brand new one because I replaced my old one because I was running out. So I just opened this up. This cream is so stinking beautiful. I will put this on my entire face before I go in with all my products. If you're just looking for extra glow, extra hydration, you can mix it directly in with your foundation. I will use this, you guys, and this, and foundation. But it's not gonna be too much because I'm using a thin application of every single product. So it's not gonna get nasty or cakey or slip off my face or anything like that. Just a little bit goes a long way. Can you just see the hydrated glow that this product gives? And the thing I love about it is it has a little tack to it. And I feel like that is like the word for the year for me. I want tacky and I want grippy. Like that is definitely the type of primer and the type of base that I'm looking for before I go in with foundation. I wanna be sticky. Speaking of sticky, I have two products. I lost the cap to this one right here. I know this is an oldie but a goodie, but for me, it's a newie. <laughs> I just started using this for the first time a couple months ago. As you can see, I'm a very big fan because it's almost gone. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's so good, you guys. So what I do is I do two pumps of this all over my face. After this, and then before I go in with makeup, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So you can use this before or after makeup, and I do both. So I'll put a little bit of this all over my face, then I'll do one to two pumps of this, and then I take this, shake it, shake it, and I like this and I do probably like three to six sprays and then my face is nice and wet and hydrated and so tacky. But I'm telling you, this right here makes such a difference. They sent me this product and when I used it for the first time, I was like, I thought it was just gonna like make the makeup last longer. I didn't know that it was gonna give such a beautiful dewiness and such a gorgeous like glassy grippiness to the face. Amazing. I went through the entire small bottle and I've gone through half of the big size bottle. So that shows how much I love it. Okay, so for powders, hear me out. I think that the industry is sleeping on powders right now. I know that we're very much into like a creamy, dewy, glassy look. I get it, like samesies. But at the same time, I need to set my face with powder and 90% of us do, right? So even if it's a super lightweight, very see-through powder, I just feel like brands aren't giving us that. They're too focused on cream bronzers and cream blushes and cream, 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 cream. And I'm like, okay, give me more powder. I will say it's another product that I have not been able to replace yet is my Jaclyn Cosmetic Powder Move and my Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light. Those two loose setting powders, I use them every single time I do my makeup and there's nothing in the entire industry that replaces them for me. I've tried, I've tried it all. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing that still gives me that dew and that glow after my face is set. To all the brands out there that are currently thriving, can you please focus on face powders? Please, I'm asking you nicely. Call me, I'll even help you develop it, but we need more face powders. Okay, moving on. I think that still to this day, the best face powder to set your face with is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. It's like a tongue twister. Airbrush Flawless Finish Face Powder. And I use the shade one. I'm pasty, okay? It is just such a beautiful finishing powder. It just feels nice and silky. It leaves the skin feeling a little dewy, not too mattified, but also flawless and a little blurring at the same time. In my opinion, if I had to use any powder other than Jaclyn Cosmetics, this is the one that I would use. But don't get me wrong, I have backup stock of my Jaclyn Cosmetics face powder, which I will continue continue to use, but I do still use this. Like I use this to kind of perfect the cheeks. I use this down here in this area to set the face when I'm completely done to help blend in the, the powder blush and bronzer and things like that, because this is my favorite pressed setting powder ever. Okay, and then with that being said, I love this product. And I actually recently discovered this. This is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. Okay, so this right here is really different. There used to be a product by MAC that you could only get at the MAC Pro stores. And I feel like they definitely use that as a benchmark when creating this because they're basically the exact same thing. And I used to use that product like 15 years ago. This is so beautiful. So what makes it so pretty is that it is a white finishing powder. Okay, but it has just like a little bit of sheen in it. So it's going to brighten up the face. Like if I put Put it on my chin. Can you see? You can see a little bit. Yes, you can see. 
Like it gives like an angelic glow. It definitely has glowiness in it. It's not a matte powder, but it's also not sparkly. It's just a really, really beautiful formula. I will use this on the inner corner of the eye. I'll use it like here in the center of the forehead, using it down the nose to do a little highlight. That right there is a game changer if you don't want like a super, super bright nose highlight, but you're just looking for something that's a little bit more subtle, but like angelic, see? It's such a pretty finishing powder. Okay, let's talk about highlighters. I have highlighters, I have blushes, I have eyeshadows, I have brushes, I have bronzers, I have so much. Okay, as far as eyeshadow palettes, this right here, this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Three. This is my number one favorite palette. I use this every single time I do my makeup. Obviously you can see what my favorite colors are. I use these three all the time along with these two down here because now that I am so fair and I have not been spray tanning at all recently, I use more cool tone shades because I am so translucent that if I use warm tones, they just look like straight up terracotta on me and they can kind of wash me out. But don't worry, I won't be pale forever, okay? I'm just going through a phase, I told you. I'll be back with my Oompa Loompa spray tan and my orange toad eyeshadows soon enough. But the formula, the colors, it's such a beautiful palette. I feel like no matter what your skin tone is, this palette could work for you. They're creamy, they're delicious, they're blendable, they're pigmented. It's such a good product. Okay, let's talk about blushes and highlighters because I have some fun ones. Let's talk about cream blushes. You guys, I have tried every cream blush except for e.l.f. That's the only one that I have not tried. I have it in a bag, but I haven't tried it yet because I'm gonna film a TikTok reviewing it and give my first impressions. We're gonna talk about colors and consistency. I feel like the Rare Beauty cream blushes are just like your standard good old cream blush, right? Like how could you not like it? It's very pigmented, which I feel like that could be a con for some people. If you're like a beginner or you're intimidated by a lot of color, it is so pigmented. The first time you go in with this bad boy, that's all you need. <laughs> I, you think I'm being dramatic? I'm actually not. Like I would start off with like two dots that look like that. That's it, like no joke, because they are so pigmented, but they're very creamy and they're very easy to blend and work with. They're beautiful, I love them. And I hope that she comes out with more shades because I need some. Thank you so much, Selena. Next, we have Juvia's Place. These are so beautiful. And these two colors specifically, so good. The formula is great, but the colors are what make these so amazing. These two shades, this one right here is Rosy Posy. And then this one right here is Blush Lily. Bitch, I'm gonna swatch them for you. Rosy Posy, okay, gorge, gorgeous. Like how could you not like that? It's beautiful. Blush Lily, bitch. If you are looking for that cool tone, bluish pink, which we all are. It's just so pretty and feminine and like baby doll-like. It's so good. They blend out so well, so creamy and very much sink into the skin. Next, we have the Nude Six Cream Blushes. Now I will say, I think that I like this formula more than this, okay? I'm obsessed with their bronzer stick, like obsessed. So amazing, okay? But in blushes, it's good. It's They're definitely very good, but I think I like the application of the Juvia's Place and the Rare Beauty better, and I think it's because it's more pigmented. If you are someone who is starting off and you're a little intimidated by cream blushes, I would recommend the Nude Sticks because I feel like it's way less pigmented, almost like moussey finish on the skin. Like, I'm gonna try to explain it to you while I like blend it out with my finger. Like that right there, do you see how it kind of like blends into the skin and it's kind of like mousse-like, it's kind of skin-like, right? Look at that. And then you can see the Juvia's Place, like that, you get what I mean. I don't have to explain myself anymore. You completely understand just by my demonstration of what I mean. So if you are intimidated, I think that Nude Sticks is a beautiful, beautiful place to start. Their colors are gorgeous. Their formula is gorgeous. They're just not as pigmented or as crazy as some of the other ones, but I highly recommend. I should talk about these because I just like reached over to grab one. I'm almost done with my entire box. These are by Clean Skin Club. I just get these on Amazon and what they are is they're just towels that you throw away when you're done, but they're completely clean little towelettes. And the purpose of it is that you don't reuse your same hand towel over and over. Your hand towel that sits on your bathroom counter, here you are spraying hairspray and that residue is falling in your towel. Here you are wiping something down off the sink. I know we all say we don't do that. We all say we do not wipe stuff off the sink and then wipe our face. We say that, but how true is that actually? That's the purpose of these, is that you go in with a fresh clean towel every single time because so many people don't realize, even if you're washing it, maybe it's not getting washed properly. Your towels can hold on to bacteria, which then you are putting onto your fresh, clean, cleansed skin. I'm not saying they changed my skin. 
I'm saying this, plus the skincare, plus not drinking has changed my skin, but I will just say that in my adult life, my skin has never looked this good. So whatever I'm doing is working, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about these. Okay, this one right here, this is a brand new color that just came out. I think it just came out like this week, and I just got it yesterday. I used it yesterday and today. It's in the shade Baby. It's by the brand Say. That's how you pronounce it, right? Every time, I never know. Bitch, this color, Oh, it's good. I also love this brand. I love the formula. I'm gonna show you this color compared to the Juvia's Place Blush Lily just so that you can see the difference. Cause I feel like if I was watching this video, I would wanna see the difference in the two shades. So that, oh shit. Okay, they're very close. But I will say Juvia's Place does have more purple in it compared to the Say one. And then I'll show you the formulas. This one is a little bit more sheer, a little bit easier to work with. Again, if you're a beginner, Say would probably be for you. And then Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place is ready for war. Juvia's Place said period. I love though that we have so many different formulas and so many different options, you know, for literally from the clean girl to the drag queen, there is a cream blush for you right now in this industry, which is awesome. Okay, this right here, this is by Makeup by Mario, and this is the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. This specifically is in the shade Pinch Me Pink. I have several shades. They're all so beautiful. They're very creamy, and I love these blushes on days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. And why I say that is because on a day where I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I'm gonna go in with something like a Juvia's Place because I'm gonna want that pigment. I'm gonna want that but on a day where it's just like, we're going on with a little bit of this, a touch of hourglass concealer, you know what I'm saying? Like barely any powder. This blush is just so beautiful. It's got a nice sheer consistency. It really looks like skin. Like it just looks like you're naturally blushing. Like I will put this blush on when I'm basically not wearing any other makeup. If we're just gonna go out and run errands, I'll take my fingers and I'll like touch it all over my cheeks and it literally just kind of looks like you have rosy cheeks. Like you're a little cold. It's such a beautiful formula, but again, it's not crazy pigmented. So it's not gonna give you like that moment, you know? You know. We're still going strong with blushes, people. Hang in there, hang in there. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of powder blushes. First, I wanna talk about this powder blush palette, okay? I know that you guys loved, loved my blush palette so much. It was one of the best sellers that we ever had with Jaclyn Cosmetics. It came out with my Bougie Rouge collection and people were devastated when I said that I was closing down Jaclyn Cosmetics. You guys were devastated over my lip liners, my highlighters, and my blush palette, okay? This blush palette right here is so pretty. I found out about it on TikTok. I bought it on TikTok shop. The colors are so pigmented and so beautiful. Like they're so gorgeous and it was not expensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I believe it's a small brand. It's called Conchita Blush Palette. It's so stinking cute. Like I love the artwork on it and it is low key amazing. Like amazing. I don't really see that many people talking about it other than the girl that I saw on TikTok, but this is bomb. Like so pigmented, so blendable, and so pretty. This is the powder blush that I'm wearing today on my cheeks over top of a cream blush, but it's gorgeous. So I would give this one a shot if you are someone who misses the Jaclyn Cosmetics blush palette and need a replacement, give this smaller brand a shot because I love it. Okay, two more powder blushes, okay? Expensive, but worth it in my opinion. I'm only gonna talk about it because it is so damn gorgeous. So this right here, this is by Gucci. This is in the shade 07 True Pink. Bitch, I can make a whole video on my love for this blush, so I'm just gonna keep it short. It has such a beautiful pearlescence glow in it. It is the most perfect, baby pink I've ever seen in my life. It blends like a dream. The sheen in it, oh, like I'm so into like glassy skin right now. It is the perfect blush. Remember how Dior had their blush that was popping off? <laughs> Lame, this one. This is what I wish that Dior blush was. Second one, this right here, again, it's expensive, but I'm talking about it for a reason because it is so gorgeous. And for me, it's like, you do not need 10 different pink blushes. You need one. Don't give into the hype. Don't buy all of them. Find one that's amazing and purchase it, right? It's like, yes, this is expensive. Yes, this is expensive, but you get this, you're good for the next year. That's the only cool tone pink you need. You see these people who are on social media, like myself, owning 30 different cool tone pinks. Don't let that make you think you need 30 different cool tone pinks. This is our job. I buy these things knowing that this is part of my job to test it and to talk about it. You do not need all that, right? So get yourself a really good, beautiful, cool tone pink that you like, whether it's from the drugstore or it's high end, that's all you need. But what I'm trying to say is if you're going to spend a lot of money on a blush, in my opinion, it's worth it because it's going to last you a long time and that's the only one you need, okay? Period. This is the Givenchy Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the shade 52. Again, look at that color. Just look, look at that color. Like, it's so beautiful and so pigmented. Like when I use it, I take my brush, realistically, I take it and I go, bink, that's it. You do not swirl. No, 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 you bink one touch and your cheek is good. 
so beautiful. Let's talk about highlighters, okay? Because I only have two. Sephora came out with these new luminizers. They're not technically calling them highlighters, they're calling them luminizers. They are so gorgeous, you guys. This is what I am wearing all over the cheek area right now on my face. They are so subtle. Like, it's not like a blinding highlight. It's just such a gorgeous glow. It's on my face, it's what I'm wearing. So you can tell, like, it is not like this, like, <sighs> highlight. It's just such a pretty glow. If you are someone who's looking for like that glassy skin, you could low key put this like all over your face. It's not even gonna be like a targeted spotlight highlight situation. It's just so beautiful. This right here is Rose Quartz and this is Ice Pearl. And these are the two that I use. I just mixed them today, honestly. We have to talk about this because I was shook. I filmed a TikTok trying out this product for the first time. It is so gorgeous. This is a small brand. This is by KJH brand right here. And this is such an innovative formula. It's so cool. So it comes with this, this, and this. Like these three things come together, okay? So what you do is you take this gloss right here, which can be used by itself, but you take it and you drop a little dot right inside of that, okay? And then with the brush, you mix that up. Which, By the way, I'm using shade Rose Claire right now. It turns into such a glassy, beautiful highlighter. It is so gorgeous. Like, look at my hand. It just looks like dewy glass. Like I love seeing these brands bring these products to life that like I've always dreamed of. Like it's been so hard to find a product that does what this one does. It is so gorgeous. Hailey Bieber was wearing this and a ton of people popped off about it on TikTok because it was so beautiful on her cheeks. And when I tried it for the first time, I was genuinely shocked. Like I could not stop looking at my skin because it just looked wet and it's not sticky. That's what's the craziest part is of course you can like feel it on your skin if you touch it, but it's not like the sticky ass product your hair is gonna stick to the whole time. You know what I mean? Let's talk about bronzers, okay? The Nude Stick Bronzer right here, this is one of my favorite cream bronzers ever. There's something about the way it blends out. It is just so good. Okay, this right here is in the shade Bondi Bay. This is my shade. It's just so matte, but it's not like a chalk matte, and it's so easy to blend out. And I know there are so many different cream bronzers on the market right now. It's really difficult to decide which one you wanna get. If you are someone who is intimidated and you're just like, I need a good, stick cream bronzer, I would recommend that you start with either the nude sticks right here or the Makeup by Mario cream bronzer right here. They're both sticks. They're very similar in my opinion. I think that the Mario one is a little bit creamier. They're both so easy to work with. They blend in so well and they're not too pigmented because if you have a bronzer that's too pigmented, you can end up in a mess. So I think that those are just like good standard cream bronzers, but Low key, that packaging sounds cheap, but I love this product. I'm not sure if it's pronounced LYS or if it's pronounced LIS, but this cream bronzer stick is so stinking good. I was totally pushed into buying this on TikTok. I was seeing so many girls use it and I was like, oh! This right here is a super, super creamy bronzer. Do not go too dark. Get a shade that's just a little bit darker than your skin tone. Like this right here is too dark for me and you can see it's not even that dark. That way, when you're blending it out, if you have too much on the skin, it kind of blends into the skin and looks just like a natural sun moment, a natural bronze moment. And that's like a foolproof way to make sure that your makeup doesn't end up looking like muddy dog shit. But this is so creamy and so hydrating and so beautiful. All three of these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. All three of these are a five star for me. I just think that if you are someone who's starting off in makeup, I would go with one of these. If you're someone who's more experienced, this is gorgeous. Okay, as far as powder bronzer, my favorite one that I have found is the House Labs. It's just a good standard bronzer. I also love that her line is Clean Beauty, which I think is great if you're someone who cares about clean. I personally don't really care, but I know a lot of people do, which is why I'm like, that's great. Good for you, Gaga. I love a clean moment, but I don't actually care. But this bronzer is beautiful. I have nothing bad to say about it. It goes on so easily. It blends out beautifully. It's not chalky. Nowadays, who even comes out with shitty bronzers? I feel like Nobody does. Just like five, six, seven years ago, everything was a hit or miss, right? It's like bronzers and blushes, we'd be like, oh, this brand sucks. Like this has no pigment. This has too much glitter in it. This is super chalky, this is super dry. I feel like now, like if you're sold in Sephora and Ulta, you got it going on. At the end of the day, they all lab at the same place and it's like, it's all pretty good product. It's just like, depends on who you wanna support now. These brushes right here, okay? They have been having a pop-off moment on social media, which I'm so happy for them. The owner, her name is Lisa. She is such a doll. It's her and her husband. I'm so excited and happy for their success that they're having on social media right now because these brushes are incredible. And I feel like their brand is like becoming the new Morphe. And I hope to see them blow up in that sense because it's so cool to see like a husband and 
and wife have a small business and then just like watch that like take off. I found out about these brushes because of my followers. I asked you guys on my Instagram, what brushes should I get? I'm in need of new brushes. And so many of you guys were like, try BK Beauty. It's a small business. You'll love it. They are my favorite brush brand now. I can't even believe that the time has come for me to say that, but they are. They're my favorite brush brand. Specifically, these four brushes I'm holding right here. I can't say that all brushes are created equally because there's something about these. They apply my cream products differently. They apply my powder products differently. They are very innovative and so beautiful from the shape to the actual bristle to the handle. This is a five star brand for me right here. This concealer brush is out of this world. It's like a beauty blender and a brush had a baby. This right here for bronzer, insane. I will never use another brush for bronzer. Not until something else comes out. I don't foresee that happening in the next six months to a year. This brush for bronzer, this right here for powder bronzer, powder blush, and just powder in general. These brushes, they are just so stinking good. Like I, I can't live without these, these four brushes. I will link them down below. I wish these four brushes came in a bundle so that you could just purchase them just like this because in my opinion, these are like, your everyone needs these four brushes. I low key don't have that many lip products to talk about because I feel like the industry is kind of sleeping on lip products right now outside of lip moisturizer and like plumpers and things like that. You know, it's like Summer Fridays is having their moment, that sort of thing, like lip oils, like love all of that. But as far as like lip color, the industry isn't really focused on it right now, which makes me sad. I talked about it in a TikTok that I posted last week about how there are no cool tone lip colors in the industry and it's making me crazy. Like I am so fair. I need cool tone nudes and it is damn near impossible to find them. Like damn near impossible. The new makeup by Mario lipstick, the formula is gorgeous. This is the most cool tone shade that he has, at least that I could find when I was in store. This is in the shade Midtown. The formulation is gorgeous. It's so creamy and glossy, but look at that. It's immediately orange on me. Although it does look like it's the most cool tone shade. It still pulls orange on my skin. It's it's just crazy, but that's just how it is. This right here, Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Kim KW. This was actually my wedding day lip color. It's just such a beautiful, like peachy pinky nude. Again, it looks orange on my skin, but it's still gorgeous. Like I love these shades. I love these formulas. And then these right here, the YSL candy glazes, bitch. This was a slam dunk for me last year and I am still obsessed with these products. I wish they would come out with like some true nudes. Like please YSL, hear me when I say that because this is like the nudist shade they have. Again, it pulls like an orangey brown on my hand, but it's just beautiful. Like they're beautiful. I just wish the industry would do more cool tone nudes. Have I said it enough? Are you guys listening? So outside of that, some products that I've been loving for the lips is this flawless forget the filter right here. It comes in a completely see-through translucent shade. This is the pinky one, but I love it. It's called Forget the Filler because it's supposed to be plumping and smoothing and nourishing. I personally don't notice any plumping action. Maybe that's because my lips are artificially plumped already with filler. Thank you so much. It's just beautiful. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. I love the way it lasts. I love the way it looks. I love everything about this product. This right here, I actually just got a couple of days ago. This is by Kosas and this is a lip balm in the shade Baby Rose. Gorgeous. This shade is so stinking pretty. It is so smooth and so pretty and so comfortable. It just feels like an actual lip balm, like a lip moisturizer but it has such a pretty color in it. It's gorgeous. And again, Kosas is clean, which is awesome for the girlies who are into clean beauty. This right here, the best lip moisturizer. This is it. I tried them all. I love me some Summer Fridays. I love the Hailey Bieber one, even though it, it definitely does have grittiness in it. I don't care what y'all say. Mine all have grittiness in it. I still love it. I was on the hunt to replace my Jaclyn Cosmetics one because it's the only one that I basically use for the last two years. This one by Refi is the most comfortable, genuinely deep hydrating, moisturizing lip balm that I have found. When I say I put this on before bed, I wake up in the morning and my lips are still so moisturized. It's amazing. If you're an Aquaphor girly, just try this instead. It is so good. And then when it comes to lip liner, guys, I will say it was the most devastating thing that I saw on social media when I decided to shut down Jaclyn Cosmetics. You guys were very tore up about the fact that my lip liners were going bye-bye. And I will say, I get it. I am so proud of the lip liners I created. I personally, too, think they are like the best formula ever. Makeup by Mario, I would say, is right next to the Jaclyn Cosmetics. I think his formula is so beautiful. His shades are gorgeous. Mario, please come out with some more cool tones. <laughs> we need more cool tones, but they are 
amazing. I use his liners all the time now. I have found some shades that I love. I love the shade Hue, I love the shade Johnny, and Toasty, I love them. That is it for cosmetics. Now I'm just gonna blaze through some perfumes and some lotions and a few more little things like that. And then we're done, we're almost done, okay? Let's talk about this first because this is a standout product to me. Miss Jackie Ina made a video, I believe it was a reel on her Instagram, where she was talking about pairing this with a fragrance and I love nothing more than a layering moment. One thing about me is I don't care what I look like. You might see me on social media and be like, damn, bitch looks bad. I smell so fucking good. I don't care how bad I look. I know I smell good. I enter every room smelling amazing. I don't know why I'm bragging about my scent. I just felt like I need to get that out there, okay? My point of this is that when I see other women giving perfume recommendations, especially a layering moment, I am the fastest buyer. I'm like, yes, bitch. And Jackie Ina, I've met her several times and she in fact always smells good. So this is like the spider lotion, right? Y'all are so dumb, I swear. I saw this thing like, the new Sol de Janeiro lotion attracts spiders. And I was like, next, I swear. I don't, after what I've been through, I don't even care. And then everyone was like debunking it and testing it. And I'm like, clearly, what lotion is going to actually attract spiders? Like what brand is gonna be like, let's make a lotion that's gonna attract tarantulas to people. Who does that? Nobody, just like nobody puts mold in lipsticks. Nobody purposely puts fuzzies in lipsticks. Like that doesn't happen. Anyways, this new Sol de Janeiro lotion, I cannot even describe to you how good it is. I think it's my favorite one so far. It's sexy, it's warm, it's florally, but it's not grandma's pussy florally because there's no rose in it. It's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous scent. Jackie Ina said to pair it with this Bulgari scent. Miss Jackie, you are my favorite influencer right now. This week, I am like, I'm making you, let's just put like a ding picture of her. You're my favorite influencer this week because of this recommendation. This is the Bulgari Baki is how you pronounce it. I took a chance by just buying this online, okay? Cause I did not have a store near me that sold the scent. So I was like, here we go, girl. I'm buying the full size bottle. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it is so good. It's so classy. It's so like grown woman, sexy and youthful in it. There's a difference between like a Marc Jacobs scent that's like, oh, like that's, it's, it's a nice, fresh, florally scent. But like, I know you have a young nose. I know when you go out to eat, you're ordering chicken tenders. You're ordering a quesadilla. You're ordering a single stack cheeseburger. Like I already know your order based off of your perfume. This is like fresh, but woman. This is like, okay, you've graduated. You have money. You've been through some shit. You've learned some some life lessons, but you still want to smell fresh. But you have money, you have a savings account, you probably have a 401k. Good things are happening for you. That's what the scent is giving me. It is good. With that being said, I was like, well, I'm not gonna stop there. Like you just introduced me to this, hello? So I got recommended this, bitch. Amazing, another Bulgari scent, and this is the all, all the Blanc. The Blanc, all the Blanc. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll link it down below. These are expensive, you guys. I'm just letting you know. I'm sorry, okay? But holy shit. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys go look at the notes. This video is too long for me to sit here and talk about all these perfumes. Let's talk about a scent that's a little bit more obtainable. This right here by Rare Beauty. This is called the Find Comfort Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. And I love nothing more than a brand that nails the naming of a product. Because when I say that this is such a comforting scent, it's so cozy and beautiful, but fresh and citrusy. It smells like fresh lemons, but like you're in a sweater. Like I don't know how to explain it because it doesn't smell springy and summery, but it also doesn't smell wintry. Typically I would not say a citrus scent is comforting. I would typically say like a spicy, warm vanilla scent is more comforting, but something about this genuinely just feels like Mm. My time of day of wearing this is when I get out of the shower. So like I take my nighttime shower and I douse myself in this. Put on my robe, put on my PJs, and it's just like, mmm, just makes you feel like homey. When I first sprayed it, I was actually shocked. I was like, wait, because I had no clue what the notes were. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. And I was like, whoa, this is so different and so unique, which I love. I love that they did not give us like just a standard, here you go, it smells like Baccarat for the 30,000th time. You know, it's like she gave us something truly unique and different and it's so good. So if I had to claim my favorite perfume of the year of 2023, it's this one right here. This is by Killian and it's I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. They do have this one as well. They are two different perfumes. They have a similar scent, but they are different. This is not the one I'm referring to. This one is good. I, I love this one, I wear it, but this is different and this is the one that I am referring to. This bottle right here, I'll link it down below so that you know exactly which one to look at. It is the most marshmallowy, vanilla, warm, spicy, sexy, yummy scent ever. I went through an entire bottle last year and then I got a second one. That layered 
with this right here, AKA the Cinnabonges, because that's what it smells like. This is the Fenty Skin Shimmering Body Whipped Cream and Butter Drop. It makes me crazy. The scent of it is so good, it makes me crazy in the head. It is so delicious. These two together, it's impossible to not get compliments when you put these on. You're gonna smell like a marshmallow cinnamon bun, like, cream puff. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's vanilla, it's delicious, and it's not giving childlike. I'm never going to recommend fragrances to you guys. I know my audience. I'm not gonna recommend like childlike, overly sweet, like ugh, intoxicatingly syrupy scents. This is just, I am going to link these two below for you because I get asked all the time for clean scents. These are both sold at Sephora, so they're not gonna break the bank. They're both under $100. And these are my two favorite clean scents. These are my second bottle of both of these. This actually might be my third bottle. These are just standard, every day, all year long, clean scents that I feel like a lot of people would like. I wear this as my workout scent because it just smells like fresh out the shower. And then this right here is called Sailing Day. It's a very popular scent by Replica and it just smells so clean. Like so clean, fresh, but like not like laundry. It's like crisp, fresh air is what this smells like. It's so yummy. It's not too citrusy, it's not too warm. So I'm gonna link both of these for all the people who are always asking about clean scents. And then you guys can go to Sephora or wherever, get a sample and smell it for yourself because these are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna end this video with one last product because I have now gone through three of these. It's quite expensive, but it's one of those products that I would recommend spending your money on because it's worth every penny to me. And this is the Alice Brooklyn Marvelous CBD Extra Rich Body Cream. It says it has 500 milligrams of CBD in it. I use this every single night as a foot cream. So it lasts me a really, really long time because a little bit goes a long way. So like this tub right here will last me six months. And when I say my feet are so hydrated, like it genuinely sinks into my skin and moisturizes. It doesn't just sit on the skin. It doesn't slip off. It doesn't leave me greasy. I have really, really dry skin. So when I use this, like genuinely my feet feel like a baby's ass because I hate nothing more than the feeling of dry feet in your sheets. Couldn't be me, just couldn't be me. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm done. I cannot believe how long this video is. Oh my gosh, my battery is literally dying. My SIM card is about to be full. I can't believe how much I talked and the fact that I didn't even talk about all the products. Like I still have more products in front of me that I didn't even discuss because I was like, it's happening. Too There's too much happening. It's too long, so that's it. But I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for still just being here and supporting me. I know that there has just been so much, you guys. I can't believe what my career has been online and what it's looked like and the mistakes that I have made and the things that I have done. I feel such a genuine connection with this community and I just love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you guys just sticking by my side and through everything you guys just always remembering and also reminding me that like I'm just human and we're allowed to make mistakes. And when you fall off the horse, you get back up. And I'm just so proud of this community that we have built. And I just love you guys so much. And that's it. And I just wanna say thank you for sticking by my side, especially through 2023. It was a crazy, crazy year for me with so many hard lessons learned. And I'm just so grateful to be here and be back. I don't know why I just feel like I'm back. This last couple of months, I just keep saying like, I'm back. And I don't know, it's just how I feel. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.